What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. What are we doing now? Oh, yes. We were going back to the Ladoro Mansion, talking with people along the way. Let's keep going. We already talked to Guy here. I love that name. It always reminds me of a uh, Fire Emblem. You know, the, the Swordsman Guy? I, I can never remember which number Fire Emblem that is. I mean, there's so many Fire Emblems. How do you remember? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I could look around a little bit. But I highly doubt I'll find anything new. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. And if you if you do watch um if you do watch my what's it called? My Ace Attorney videos in the morning, then at the end you probably heard me talk about me getting uh my eyes done. That is still the plan. I'm getting my eyes done uh, later today. So, we'll see how that goes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What was I doing? Do -do 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 -do. Let's just go to the mansion. We don't need no hit coins. Hey, baby. Herschel, nice to see you again. I'm sorry, but Henry had to run out rather suddenly. But he did say I can show you his study. Please look as long as you'd like. Thank you, Angela. I trust everything's okay. Oh yes, Henry just had some business in town. Please, this way. Of course, thank you, Angela. It's a shame that we missed Henry again. Yes, he's been very busy lately. Keeping order in town takes up much of his time. He's been trying to calm our local business owners. I've barely seen him since the masked gentleman appeared. Oh my, what a beautiful study! It's tidier than a hospital in here! Yes, cleaning is Henry's... hobby. I see. How fascinating. Is that really a hobby, though? Angela, this home is quite large. Is it just you and Henry here? We also have the servants, but Henry does most of the work. When he's anxious, well, he likes to be productive. He must be anxious often. It sounds as if he built Montador from nothing. Yes, Henry is quite amazing in that way. He's always been very focused like that. Well, at least ever since Randall. Please investigate the study for as long as you like. I'll try to stay out of your way. Okay. The desktop looks untouched. Henry used to sit at the desk studying the mask for hours. But no longer. So Henry did most of his work in here. Yes, he was always poring over that mask. That awful mask. I wish Randall never found that stupid mask all those years ago. That thing tore us all apart. All of us. But now it seems the mask has brought you and me together again. How ironic. It does seem to be a mask that can bring both immense joy and immense sorrow. That mask has served as the agent for both Randall's misfortune and Henry's success. Is it true that Montador wouldn't even exist today had Henry never found the mask and the treasure? Yes. Through his expeditions, he created this town out of nothing, hence the name, the City of Miracles. Henry used some of his fortune to open a small hotel in the middle of nowhere called the Reunion Inn. The entire thing was very odd from the start. Visitors began flocking to that hotel, it became immensely popular. Don't tell me it's Henry Dalton. Do no, it's it's gotta be Henry Lador, right? Because she probably would have taken his last name, so. Okay. This little hotel project became his first success out here. The rest is history. From there, Montador flourished into what it is today. It's hard to believe the town started from one little hotel 18 years ago. Henry credits Montador's existence to the Mask of Chaos. He believes that people are, for one reason or another, drawn to it. That mask has changed so many lives in so many ways. Mrs. Lador? Does the Mask of Chaos really have magical powers? Whoever stole it must think so. Yes, I'm very interested in the motives of whoever stole the mask. I have a feeling everything will fall into place once we find the perpetrator. Uncovering the truth behind these dark miracles lies in discovering the identity of the masked gentleman. 
Okay. Pots are crafted with being viewed at every angle. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Was the mask locked up in a safe? No, it was hanging on the wall here. You had a priceless ancient artifact just hanging on your wall? Out in the open? And why not? This is our home! Henry thought displaying the mask would bring good luck to Montador. Where were you and Henry when the mask was stolen? I'm pretty certain we were both home, but we have no idea what had happened exactly. There was no sign of forced entry. I do know that the masked gentleman began terrorizing Montador immediately after we realized that the mask was gone. Do you have any idea why someone would want to harm the town? An unlucky gambler, a disgruntled property owner, someone with a personal grudge. Do you think this could be about money? Perhaps someone's trying to disrupt all of the businesses in town. Money makes people do crazy things. I don't get what all the fuss is. Money's just paper with old people on it. Well, literally, yeah, Luke. But it's more than that. It's symbolic. It's power. Money is power. And safety. And security. And authority. Ah. What am I looking for? Weighted scales, okay. Another hit coin. Almost every single one of these books is in my area of interest, okay? We gotta be getting close. Is that it? That plate must have cost a fortune. Don't touch it, Emmy, you might break it. A broken plate would be a sad thing indeed. Such is the case in this puzzle. The Cat's Trophy. Drat! This pesky feline has knocked three plates off the dresser. The cat made off with one of the pieces. Can you tell which plate it's from? Um, okay. So we can see... Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to see... Uh, maybe go to memo. Oh wait, oh, I don't want to memo the bottom, are you kidding? Well, okay, let's look at the top pieces. You can see there's, um... I'm, I'm gonna try assembling some of them together, so I'm gonna go with, on the right side in the middle, there's like a, you can see there's a start of a square. Let's see if the rest of the square pieces are there. So there's one there. We need, um, then the right piece of that is on the bottom left. That assembles most of it, which means we would need the top left. So the square is fine, the square is three pieces together. Um, let's see what else, there's the, there's the triangle. There's one piece of the triangle at the bottom left. Where are the other two pieces? There's another one at the top, right? But where is the last piece of the triangles? Is, is, is the one right? No, that's the square. It must be the triangle, which is this one. Please, allow me. Ha! An assistant can solve a puzzle or two. It's C. Get after that cat! Did you think I'd break it, Professor? I'm not that clumsy, you know. I thought nothing of the sort. But let's not take any chances. Oh, all right. All right, now let's speak with... What's her face? Angela, has anyone else been in here besides you or Henry? Henry doesn't even allow our servants in here. But he will entertain the occasional visitor in here. Rather than using the parlor? Mainly for very important guests. So no one is ever in this room alone without Henry being here as well, correct? Yes, but we haven't had many guests lately. We keep the doors locked at all times, so whoever stole the mask must have come in through the window. You'd have to be pretty nimble to fit through the window. That would definitely fit the masked gentleman's style. Yes, the thief may have been the masked gentleman, but then again... Herschel, do you have a theory on who could have done such a thing? The masked gentleman is most likely someone very familiar with this town. He could be an ordinary citizen hiding behind an ordinary existence. One of our own residents. Angela, who here in town would benefit from the turmoil of recent events? 
Who? Why, I can't imagine that anyone would benefit from this madness. Someone with a grudge against Henry, or anyone you've had trouble with in the past? The only person I can think of with a grudge against Henry is Dalston. Dalston, eh? Sounds suspicious to me. Alphonse Dalston? Do you know this CAD, Professor? Yes, Herschel, the same. Dalston was an acquaintance of ours back in Stansbury. Between the two of them, Dalston and Henry own most of the casinos in town. They've been business rivals for years. I believe they also had quarrels over the property lines of some of Henry's hotels. I wouldn't be surprised if Dalston set out to sabotage Henry. You know Dalston, Herschel. Yes, but I don't want to jump to any conclusions just yet. Also, Dalston has been receiving advance warnings from the masked gentleman. Henry has received these warnings as well, but no one else. I don't want to cast suspicion, but Dalston seems to have some sort of connection with the masked gentleman. I find that very suspicious, Mrs. Lador. That is rather odd. I think it definitely warrants some investigation. Let's go talk to him right now, Professor! If you want to talk to Dalston, his house is just west of your hotel. Okay, I guess we're going to Dalston's place now. That's a, kind of a long walk. I mean, you probably have a bunch of cars. It'd be nice if you drove us there, but okay, Angela. I thought we were friends. Oh, wait, go back. It's that guy who doesn't care about anything, and he's kind of a dick. Psst. Want some drugs? Hmm, why yes, gentlemen drugs. How are you? Just judging things. Don't buy the glitzy sheen of this town. There's a dirty power struggle going on beneath the surface. Do tell. Do listen. Nothing free in the world sec wishes, though. How about you solve this puzzle and we'll see what happens. I am pretty curious. Puzzle 35. Uh... The bartender places five bottle caps on the bar. With the star logos facing up, okay. She closes her eyes and starts turning caps over at random, counting every turn. Once she reaches 25, she suddenly slams her hand onto the bar. Covers up one of the caps and asks you, is the logo on this cap facing up or down? With the situation shown in the diagram above, can you answer her question? Hold on a minute. Um... Hmm... This... Hmm... This is a tricky one. So there are five. What are the odd... Hmm... Five... Random, counting every turn. Twenty-five, suddenly slams her hand onto the bar. One, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, twenty. Uh. Hmm. Well, you would assume it's up, right? But it's 40 points. Ah, uh, it's a 50-50 shot. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the math is behind this one. But I, I would assume, I would assume up. I believe I have this one. Okay. I'm not certain what happened Do you there. notice anything as you keep flipping caps over and over? Um... Hmm. I'm afraid this one's a bit over my head. Don't keep me in suspense. There is no puzzle without a solution. Let's see what they have to say. The cap is facing down. If you flip the caps an odd number of times, the number of caps facing up will be even, and vice versa. Since 25 is an odd number, there can only be two caps facing up. Ah, see, that's some next level thinking right there. That's one step ahead thinking. As promised, I'll spill the beans, but you gotta promise to pick them up. See, the Lador's built this town a while ago using money Mr. Lador found while he was treasure hunting. Then you've got Dalston, who built a bunch of hotels over the years and made some nice coin here in town. These recent miracles sure seem to be jeopardizing all of Mr. Lador's work, catching my drift. If the Lador holdings fall apart or lose their value, Dalston stands to benefit, is that what you're getting at? Hey, look! 
I'm no conspiracy theorist, but I think there's a conspiracy here. Find who benefits from the chaos. In other words, you think Alphonse Dalston is the masked gentleman. I'm not sure Alphonse could fit into the masked gentleman's pants, but it can't hurt to talk to him. Okay. That was interesting to know. I'm glad I talked to him. All right, let's go as quickly as we can. Ba 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 ba. Let's see. Oh wait, who's that? There's someone there. Hold on, go back. Hello. Wait, what? What did I click? Oh, okay, that's good. Your hat is absolutely exquisite. I love the whole classic gentleman look. I'm fuming, by the way. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I strive to be one and not only in the dress. Oh. I strive to be one and not only in dress, sorry. I hear English gentlemen appreciate a good puzzle. You should enjoy this. Excuse me, that's racist. You think all English people like puzzles? Going donuts. A family of three runs a mobile donut shop. Their most, wow, food trucks, how topical. Their most popular item is a four glazed donut. No, not, not topical, but like, um, very current. Their most popular item is a four glazed donut. There are 12 donuts here, three of which were made by mother of the family. She makes donuts in her own unique way. Can you find the mother's donuts? Okay. Uh, four glaze. Huh. Read that again. Um, 12 here. Three were made by the mother in her own unique way. Okay. Ooh, it's like Neapolitan and original. This looks really good, actually. I've never seen a donut like this. Like powdered sugar, strawberry, um, original, and chocolate sprinkle. I don't really know anyone that eats donuts anymore, though. It's pretty uncommon, I think. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There's got to be a pattern. I guess I should write down some of the patterns, then. Um, so let's see here. Memo. How many are there for chocolate... Uh, sugar. Original. I'll, I'll put pink for strawberry. Sea sop. So, chocolate, strawberry. Nope. Chocolate, strawberry, original. Wait, chocolate. Oh, chocolate, sugar. Oh, dear. Chocolate, sugar. Original, pink. Here's one. Here's the original. Chocolate, sugar. Original pink. Here's another. Chocolate, sugar, pink, original. Okay. How many other ones are there? So there's also... Let's go with a different color. That might be easier. Let's go with blue. So chocolate, original... Wait. No, I don't want to go in that. Chocolate, pink, sugar, original. That's this one. Chocolate, pink... Nope. Chocolate, pink, nope. Um. Huh. Only one? That can't be right. Maybe it is the, maybe it is the, um, these. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. No, that'd be too easy, okay. A tough nut to crack. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Let's go back to the memo here. First on select, back to the memo. Let's see. Wonder what I could have missed. Chocolate. Okay, well, we have a new option now. The reason I didn't find any other ones for CPSO was because I actually had to use the hints here. It's, um... A donut where the glazes are brown, white, orange, pink going clockwise will be the same as one that's brown, pink, orange, white going clockwise when you flip it over. So the order will reverse. That's what I, that's what I was missing. So let's see. This is a whole other option. Um, ba ba ba. Okay, I got that. So this one in the two corners. Submit. How about this? Puzzles are made to be solved. Okay, the mother of the family made the second donut from left- uh, I don't need to look at that. 
I mean, that's pretty much it. You just go f try and find the triples and then see if it works. This masked gentleman certainly is puzzling. I heard that he turned a group of people into stone. Wonder how he does it. He's claiming he performed some sort of miracle. I suspect there's more to it than that, or less to it, if you will. The police are investigating the matter, but a gentleman like yourself may be better equipped to solve such a mystery. You should look into investigating the masked gentleman. Haha, <laughs> yes, I may just do that. I may look into the other hotels here. And with that, I want to end this video here, but before I do, I want to say what I said at the end of the um, Ace Attorney video, which is that there is the possibility videos might be late next Monday because I'm getting my, uh, I'm getting LASIK done on my eyes, so laser surgery on my eyes. Uh, and it should be a quick recovery. I should be fine and good to go recording um, on the weekend for the videos. But, you know, you never really know, so I'm just sort of getting this warning out there first. I think it'll be okay, but that's the circumstance. All right, well, stay tuned for most likely next Monday, and have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye!